Hey everyone. So I'm going to revisit the ice cube tray. Um, we're not going to do a ton of different rainbowish colors. I'm going to use um, a light permanent blue hue. I believe this is a phalo turquoise. No, phalo green. I got a tiny bit of phalo turquoise and some ultramarine blue, bright blue, and white. So I don't even know if I'm going to use this one. I think I'll skip that one too. So I just want to keep it uh, white in between each color. I just want a, a, a greenish, bluish pour. So, okay, so I'm going to get started pouring that because it takes a while. I'm going to do it really fast tonight. And I'm not going to start with white. I'm going to start with the bright blue. And I'm going to take the top off and we're going to pour quickly. Last time it took eight minutes. We don't want to take that long. <laughs> okay. Let me grab my mic here. You can't even hear me, can you? Is that better? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll follow that with some light blue. I'll be adding this again after the white. I did put some silicone in this white because this is what I usually use for negative space. light blue. I want to make sure this shows up. Okay. And then do a tiny bit of white again. that with this phalo green. I feel like we need one more color. How about an aqua? I just used this on another pour so it's stirred. about halfway and I'm gonna go ahead and put some more of this bright blue and get any out of it it's a good way to use up your leftover paints experimenting but I had 25,000 views on the last one so I think everybody wants to try it it was fun. Oh, my top went in there. <laughs> that would never happen again. I'm playing paint pong. <laughs> Get out of there. There we go. Um, What else can we put in there? I think we might be all right. I don't know if that's enough paint for a 16 by 20, though. Let me throw some more white in there. Okay. And then I'll put white around the canvas after I flip it over. Okay. I don't even think I'm going to bother. I'm just going to tip it. I probably should have went the other way. Let me get some 
some light down. This one doesn't have silicone in it, so. And I'm just gonna rub that in, just so the paint will flow over the edges. The anticipation. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn this canvas around. And we're just going to tilt it out. Oh, that's kind of cool. try a flip and drag with that but I don't think because I would have to take the blue part off I'm just afraid it would really scrape on the canvas and just leave lines cool all right let me turn that around again so now we're just going to tilt my torch a little bit here Some great cells in the uh, phalo, phalo green. It's really runny, so it's moving it pretty good, but I don't want the zigzaggies. And I think that's about the best we're going to do with what we have to work with. But I'm glad we did get some of the dark blue to show up. Got some great lacing starting here in the corner. Not as pretty as the last one, but it's pretty. It's uh, oceany. Let me go ahead and torch. I got a few coming up. It's just funny how this changes so much in the first hour. I need time lapse video. <laughs> and that light blue is just sticking out like a sore thumb there, isn't it? It'll sink a little bit. It's dense. It takes a lot of pigment to uh, make the lighter colors, especially white, because they normally sink. So, there's our ice cube tray revisited. Next time we'll try uh, something else with it. There's a lot of cells in these little corners. So hopefully the middle will pick up too. 
But if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe below and click on the little bell next to it and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Uh, click like and share and leave a comment. And if you need to ask me a question that's that you don't want to ask here, you can reach me at uh, Christina Welch Art on Facebook. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I can. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night. Bye now.